Good morning. Welcome back, everybody. I hope you guys had an awesome time off and um, you enjoyed some downtime with your families. Um, so starting this week, boys and girls, I'm still going to be doing your lessons on YouTube. You're going to be doing the work and we're going to be doing a Zoom in the middle of the week on Wednesday mornings. Um, and I'm going to schedule that today to help you ask questions and, and um, clear up whatever you're having issues with or just to see each other's faces. It's going to be really exciting. So we're going to be doing that. And if you have any problems and you guys want one-on-one -on -one time, um, I'm offering that too. So all you have to do is we can um, message each other and we can do a FaceTime or a Zoom together in a small group. Okay, so uh, let's start out with a prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. For any special intentions you are holding in your hearts, and I wanna pray for you guys. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We're going to start our day off today. It's a lot of information. So we're going to start off by going over your new letter sound, which is all, and it's the letter O, or A-W, or A-U, or A-U-G-H, or A-L. They're all the ways that you hear all. So the first spelling word is the word hall. So it's like you're actually moving something, right? And that's H-A-U-L, A-U-L. And um, they are called vowel teams. When the two vowels go together, they have to stay together and they're their own syllable, okay? So then we have the word cause. They stay together, I shouldn't say they're their own syllable, but they stay together in that syllable. You don't ever break them up, okay? So then we have cause. C-A-U-S-E, cause, hear that all sound? And then we have the word saw, S-A-W, so all, you hear it again. Claw is the A-W, C-L-A-W. We have paw, P-A-W, can you guys see that? Dawn, D-A-W-N, Dawn, right? Then we have um, words that are reviewed from last time we did, two weeks ago, and it's moon, M-O-O-N, soup, S-O-U-P, love, L-O-V-E, and then friend is that I before the E, right? F-R-I-E-N-D. So we're learning the all sound, boys and girls. So whenever you see an A-W, an A-U, an A-U-G-H, like in laugh, or A-L sometimes, it makes the all sound. And we'll review that every day this week, okay? All right, and then you have your sight words that you're gonna be able to read for me on Thursday, okay? So, after you um, study your spelling words and that all sound, um, we do have vocabulary this week, a lot of vocabulary. So, one of the words is accept, okay? And I'm going to read over here from my book. It says, if you accept something, you take it and you agree with it. That's what you do. So, you accept it, okay? And then we have the word often. I'm sure a lot of you know what that word means often means you do it a lot, right? We, we um, brush our teeth often. We eat munchies often, okay? We have play dates usually, <laughs> often. Okay, so today you guys are gonna read in your um, reading and writing workshop books. Uh, we're talking about all kinds of helpers and our whole lesson this week is who helps you? We're gonna talk about people that in your life that help you, your friends that help you, um, any doctors that help you, anybody in the community that helps you, and your story is about helpers, and it's about teachers helping you, and coaches helping you, and all different people that can actually make your life better, okay? 
Um, we are going to be learning what possessive pronouns are today. So possessive pronouns, boys and girls, it's a word that's in front of a noun that shows ownership. So let me explain. So if I have the word, my house is beautiful. The sentence, my house is beautiful. My would be the possessive noun because you're possessing, you're owning that house. My house, okay? Let me give you another one. Your mom just called me. Your mom, the noun is mom, but the word that shows ownership is what, boys and girls? It's your. So your mom would be the possessive pronoun. Do you understand that? Okay, here's another one. Um, Julie lost her tooth. So what shows ownership? It's the word her, right? It's her tooth. So that's a possessive pronoun. All right, good job. So how about the dog sleeps in its bed? Where's the possessive pronoun? You're talking about the bed. So it's its bed. So its would be the possessive pronoun. You understand that? Good, okay. Moving on, we're gonna review that we always capitalize the days, the months, and the holidays. Okay, they're always capitalized, they're proper nouns, they're a name of something, and that is a review for this week. Um, let me see. You're gonna be doing some practice book pages today. Um, and hold on, let me just see here. We are learning what the author's purpose is. An author's purpose, boys and girls, is just the main idea. So it's the one sentence that you can say that the whole story is about. The story has lots of little details in it, and that's really exciting, but it's the one thing that's constant on every single page. So if I told a story about Mrs. Flanagan, and I said, Mrs. Flanagan likes to run. Mrs. Flanagan likes to read. Mrs. Flanagan likes to eat seafood. Mrs. Flanagan loves to smile. Mrs. Flanagan, every page has a little detail about Mrs. Flanagan. But what is the whole author's purpose? The whole theme, the whole main idea? Who is it about? It's about Mrs. Flanagan. So you could say things about Mrs. Flanagan, and that would be the author's purpose. You're trying to teach somebody what Mrs. Flanagan likes, okay? So that is something that we are gonna be reviewing because you guys did, you guys have been learning that since September. But the big thing today is writing a thank you note. I did an example. We always start with the word dear and we capitalize it. That's our welcoming, that's our intro. And I use Patrick's name today. So it's dear Patrick and then a comma, right? So we always have that comma and nothing else goes on this line. The introductory goes by itself. So dear Patrick, and then it says, Thank you, and do you see how we indent it a little bit? We moved over under the E, and we did thank you for being, I can't read it that way, being my friend. You are nice. And then we write the word from with a comma, and then I just use the word, the name Ben, and then you're gonna put Ben down here, or you're gonna put your name down here. But that's, that's how you sign off from a comma and then your name. And then this is called the body of the letter. So today, that's as easy as that. You're gonna write a thank you note to somebody. And this is our example, dear, and you could say, um, dear postman, thank you for delivering my mail. You are nice. From, and you could say Elizabeth, if that's your name, okay? So that's how we do a thank you note. Let's see. One of the last things in reading that we're going to be talking about this week are antonyms, right? So antonyms are opposites. So we talked about synonyms and they were the same, right? They were when you were happy and joyful. But now, boys and girls, we're talking about things that are the exact opposite. So we would say um, happy, sad, up, down, in, out, right? Um, soft, hard, uh, shiny, 
doll. So all these things are opposites, okay? All right, so you're also gonna be doing some freckle math today um, if you have time. It's a lot, I have a lot going on today. Um, but freckle math, you can always level up in freckle math whenever you're, you have downtime. Um, <clears throat> math today, we're gonna move on. And this whole week, you're gonna be adding or subtracting from 13 and 14 and um, then you're then it's going to jump up throughout the week, and it's going to be subtract from 16 and less. So that's that's what we're we're still just we're kind of lucky that we're out of school and we're doing subtraction and addition because you guys did learn how to do that. Now we're just bumping up to bigger numbers. So you guys can use manipulatives. You guys can use your number line. I just want you to keep practicing your facts. Okay. Make sure you keep that up. So you have pages of math that you're going to be doing. <clears throat> um, in religion today, we were going to talk about praying with God's word. So people pray in many ways. <clears throat> Think about how you pray. Let's see. How you pray and how do you talk to God and listen to God? So we can go to church and talk to God and listen to him. But right now, it's kind of unique because we don't go to church. But hopefully you're taking time to be centered and to pray every single day. Um, you can pray um, while you're eating, right before you eat a meal. You can pray in your bedroom alone. You can pray as a family. You can pray any way you want. Mrs. Flanagan likes to run, and I know you guys know this, and I love to pray on my runs. It's like so fulfilling to me to pray. So you can pray when you exercise. You can pray all the time. How did Jesus pray? So the Bible tells us um, how and where Jesus prayed. He prayed with his heart and his voice, and he prayed with his mind. Jesus prayed with his family in the temple. Jesus prayed alone in the desert, and sometimes he prayed on the mountain. Sometimes he prayed in a boat. After the Last Supper, Jesus sang the Psalms with his friends, and then he went into the garden to pray. Now, Psalms, boys and girls, are prayers from the Bible that people, people often sing. So the book of Psalms is in the Bible. Okay, you're going to, so today, if you get a chance, this isn't in your, um, this isn't in your lesson of the day, but you can draw a picture of your favorite place to pray. Okay? And Psalms are the prayers from the Bible that people sing. Remember that. So you guys can sing to pray. Jesus did it, right? Okay. So our last thing that we're going to talk about today is um, in social studies, we're going to talk about the weather. So you will know how weather, location, and the environment affect the way people live. Now we know when it's snowing, we usually don't go anywhere, right? When it snows a big storm. Um, if there's a big tornado or hurricane, you're not outside playing. We know those things, right? But all different places in the world have different weather, right? So, and it all depends on where you're located in the world. So the weather is a plate. The weather of a place is what is like outside. Weather changes every day. It can be sunny and warm in the morning and then rainy and cool at night. The weather can affect what you wear and do. If it is warm, you may wear a swimsuit and go surfing. And if it is cold out, you may wear a jacket or ride your bike. And it's been okay here, hasn't it? Your location and where you live can change what you do too. Some people live near harbors or bodies of water near the shore. So that's what a harbor is, right? Um, here it can be very warm. People may work shipping goods to faraway places. They may also kayak for fun. Others live near mountains. They may drive to nearby cities for work. In the mountains, the air can be cool and people here may go rock climbing for fun. What activities can people do in or near a harbor? They can fish, they can go on their boats, right? They can, um, what else can they do? There's probably a place to swim, right? I think it would be a fun place. So, <clears throat> um, we're gonna talk about how the environment changes um, weather this week. 
And I want to show you guys something that about, about the butterflies that we're talking about. Hold on. One second. Okay. So, oh my goodness, it just fell over. So we have our butterflies here, boys and girls, that became cocoons. So they're still in this little thing here. We watched them, we fed them. They were just little caterpillars, and now we're waiting. And every day I'm gonna show you guys that we're just waiting for them to become butterflies. Isn't that cool? I couldn't wait for spring break. I took them everywhere I went just in case something happened and they needed me, <laughs> like my little pets. Okay, so I'm gonna end today. Um, Epic is awesome. I'm watching you guys level up on Epic, Epic, so keep that up. Remember, I'm gonna send out your Zoom invite in a couple minutes, so we'll have that ready for this week. And if you want or you need me, um, and you just feel like we should, be, we should be in contact, your parents can absolutely get a hold of me and I'm available. Okay, have a good day. See ya.